at this point, we have now understood something about the nature of binomial coefficients, how they interact with each other, and their essential properties. Let's now summarize what we understand about this issue of sampling from populations. So at heart, we're going to start with a finite set, a finite population, let's say, of n elements. We are going to sample from this population, and we're going to draw a sample of size k. If the sample is an ordered sample, where the order matters, then if the sampling is with replacement, there are n to the k possibilities. If the sampling is without replacement, then there are n to the k falling possibilities. If the sample constitutes a subpopulation of size k, a subset of size k, without order, then there are n choose k possibilities. The binomial coefficients themselves give you various identities and various alternative representations. So, for example, n choose k may be written alternatively in other forms involving ratios of factorials or in terms of yet other binomial coefficients such as n choose n minus k. Pascal's triangle allows you to decompose binomial coefficients in terms of the rows in Pascal's triangle n choose k can be decomposed in terms of the binomial coefficients immediately below it at the base of a triangle in terms of n minus 1 choose k and n minus 1 choose k minus 1. And finally, the binomial theorem allows you to take a sum and raise to a power and expand it in terms of a polynomial involving the binomial coefficients. Now, these are the essential properties of binomial coefficients. If you have these under your belt, you are good to go. Our next tableau takes us directly into the realm of chance, and we begin by exploring chance in elementary settings, with the idea that we discover essential features, properties, which are readily intuited in these elementary levels, and build on these features and properties to construct a formal foundation for an abstract science.